So in today's video, we are going to focus on the angle properties of a triangle. Now let's consider this triangle. That is the triangle ABC. Now this triangle has interior angles W, X and then Y. Now we all know that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore we have W plus X plus Y equals 180 degrees. Now let's call this equation 1. Now if one side of this triangle is extended, so let's say AB is extended such that we have D, then the angle Z is formed. And this angle is called the exterior angle of this triangle. Now the exterior angle of this triangle, which is the angle Z, is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles, which are the angles X and then W. So Z is equal to X plus W. Now let's call this equation 2. So basically what you are trying to say for equation 2 is that if one side of a triangle is extended, the exterior angle form, in this case, which is the angle Z, is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Therefore, we have Z equals X plus W. Now, we are going to use these two equations to solve a number of examples. Now, let's try our first example. So, in the diagram below, find the value of A, B, and C. So for this diagram, we have a triangle and this triangle is an isosceles triangle because these two sides are equal. Therefore, the base angles are also equal. So if this angle is 42 degrees, then it also means that this angle is also 42 degrees. Now, even before that, let's try to find the value of A. So to find the value of A, we know that the angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, A plus 42 is equal to 180. So we say that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, we have A plus 42 degrees equals 180 degrees. Since we want to find the value of A, we transpose 42 to the right-hand side. So we have A equals 180 minus 42, and that's equal to 138. So the value of A is equal to 138 degrees. Now let's find the value of B. So since this triangle is an isosceles triangle, we are saying that the base angles are the same. Since the triangle is isosceles, the base angles are the same or are equal. Therefore, to find the value of B, we know that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we have B plus 42 plus 42 equals 180 degrees. 42 plus 42 is 84, so we have B plus 84 equals 180, and then we transpose 84 to the right hand side, we have 180 minus 84, and that is equal to 96, therefore the value of B is 96 degrees. Now let's move on and find the value of C. Now we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. 
Therefore, 42 plus C plus 39 is equal to 180. So we have 42 plus C plus 39 equals 180. 42 plus 39 is 81. So C plus 81 equals 180. We have C equals 180 minus 81. And then we have the value of C to be 99 degrees. Therefore, we say that a is equal to 138 degrees, B is equal to 96 degrees, and then C is equal to 99 degrees. Now let's move on to the next example. So let's try example 2. Now in the diagram below, AC is parallel to DF. That is the line AC is parallel to DF. Angle CBT is 40 degrees and angle DET is 140 degrees. Find the value of the reflex angle Y. We are going to find the value of the reflex angle Y. So from the question, we are being told that this line, that is the line AC, is parallel to the line DF. We are giving the angle CBT to be 40 degrees and the angle DET to be 140 degrees. Now to find the value of Y or to solve questions of this nature, we need to draw additional parallel lines. So we are going to draw a line that is parallel to both AC and then DF. So this is going to be the line GT. So this line is parallel to AC and then DF. Now we know that these two angles are alternating angles. That is the angle CBT alternates with the angle BTG. So if this angle is 40 degrees, then it also means that this angle is 40 degrees. So we say that alternating angles are equal. Therefore, the angle CBT is equal to the angle BTG, that is this angle, and that is equal to 40 degrees. Now, basically, what you are going to do is to find this full angle so that we use the angle at a point which is 360 degrees, and then we can subtract this angle from 360 degrees to find or to get the value of Y. Now let's find this angle, that is the angle ETG. Now we know that the angle DET and then ETG are co-interior angles. And then we know that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, the angles DET plus ETG is equal to 180 degrees. Now we have the angle DET to be 140 degrees. Therefore, 140 plus the angle ETG equals 180 degrees so the angle ETG is equal to 180 minus 140 and that is equal to 40 degrees so that is the angle the angle ETG so at this point we know that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees therefore the angle btg which is this angle plus this angle that is 
etg plus y is equal to 360 degrees so we have btg that is the angle btg to be 40 and then we also have the angle etg also to be 40 degrees so plus y equals 360 degrees 40 plus 40 is 80 degrees plus y equals 360 therefore we have y equals we transpose this to the right hand side we have 360 minus 80 and then y is equal to 280 degrees so this is the reflex angle y 280 degrees